Today we're gonna have a sequel, a follow-up to a video that's like a year old, maybe a little older. Uh, there's probably a good chance that a lot of you guys on the fucking, their new subscribers don't even know the video exists. And it was one of those things where uh, a video went viral on Facebook and because almost everybody that's on my Facebook that's not direct family is uh, a car person. Because I don't, I don't tend to add people on Facebook. People add me, and then I see if they're if they got cars in their profile or Hondas or whatever. I accept the request, um, and uh, so it started circulating amongst my Facebook crowd. Uh, and it was two videos, two separate videos that told the full story, and uh, well, told almost the full story. It just told enough of a story for me to make me want to make a ranty video on it at the time. So uh, it was a Civic that ran from the cops, and it was apparently an all motor K. And, uh, so the thing was the guy watching the video was screaming, hyping up the fucking Civic, oh, run on that cop, run on that cop. And then the next video is, uh, the guy in handcuffs <laughs> with a cop next to him, the same cop that he ran from, that he ran from like a big ass SUV. Right. So at the time I'm like, I'm laughing. I'm like, this is, this is the problem with the Honda scene. This is why everybody clowns on us because, you know, we're all riced out. Everybody's making all kinds of loud noises and you think it's a super fast car but the dude got caught. So it's not a super fast car. And then, uh, so because I didn't make any real, I only made one Honda reference in that video. And I was saying I was in a slow single cam back when I was a kid. And I, I would assume that most people that are commenting with hate on that video didn't get far enough into that to hear that. Or, or if they did, they just skipped right over it. So because it's VHB engines on the channel and not VHB Honda engines or anything fucking stupid like that, or because you don't look at the thumbnail close enough to see that H badge on the valve cover, in my logo that you don't realize that this is a Honda channel. <laughs> I am not a Honda hater. I regularly build Honda engines. And because of that, I'm very well aware of what all of them can do. So when you got this guy in the hatch, it's all fucking, you know, it's an A. I was saying, uh, it's, you know, unless it's, even if it's, unless it's a 300 wheel horsepower hatch, it's not anywhere really, well, I mean, it's not real fast. So now then people want to argue and they, you know, about, oh, well, lightweight and all that shit. I know. I understand because this is what I do. Honda is what I do. I understand what each power level package does and what cars and whatnot. So the reason what, what triggered me the most about it was the praise that everybody was given for this car, right? And then the fact that he did get caught, right? And then there's the, all these excuses. Everybody that's commenting with the you know some negative shit on the video has got a matter of fact excuse of why he got caught. Some guys say he for sure fucked up the engine, ran you know cracked the oil pan, and that's why he got caught. And then some guys were saying he for sure ran out of gas, and that's why he got caught. Everybody has a for sure reason why he got caught. Everybody has an excuse for why he got caught. <laughs> It doesn't matter. You ever heard of Chase's a race? Oh, bro, well, I would have had you, but, you know, well, you, you chase, and you, that's a race, and you lost. So I don't give a fuck what your reason is, what your excuse is. You lost. So he lost to a cop in a fucking SUV. I don't care the excuses. He lost to a cop in an SUV, right? So uh, the thing is about the praise, the praise that everybody's shining on this car, is that um, uh, what, what brought me back to wanting to do this video is the other night I was watching a, a video compilation of a guy in a case swap that was making 270 and he's on the track and he's racing a whole bunch of different shit. He beats a bunch of stuff and he gets his ass whooped by a bunch of stuff, right? It's a fun car. It's quick. It's not fast. What determines a fast car? What determines a fast car is fast by modern takes. And when the modern take is the 300 wheel horsepower in an NAK series can be achieved with cams and fuel. It's not impressive. If it's easily achieved, it is not an impressive feat. 10, 15 years ago, 300 wheel horsepower would have been fucking respectable. But now, everybody with a turbo kit from China in a stock K series makes 500 wheel horsepower. So I'm not going to get impressed by a fucking 300 horsepower fucking Honda. I don't care how fucking, how light the car is or whatnot. It's whatever. It's not impressive. Is it respectable power? Yes. If the car is done properly, it's respectable power. But it's not the fucking be all end all end of the world for impressiveness. Everybody hyping this car up. It's so fast. It's not. It's respectable. It's not super fast. There are fucking, there are like a dozen or more seven second Hondas that exist out there. There are a whole bunch of thousand wheel horsepower plus Hondas out there. Boosted Boys just fucking did their first eight second pass in the MR2 that makes over a thousand horsepower. That's a fast car. A fucking 280 to 330 wheel horsepower K-Series car is not fast. I'm not impressed. 
So when I see everybody fucking, everybody jump around and fucking like, oh my God, this car is so fast. I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not buying into that hype. And he got caught by the cop, right? So the equivalent of what this is was like, you know, you know that bottle flip challenge when everybody was like, you know, ironically flipping a bottle and landing it. And they were like, oh my, everybody's freaking out. It's funny. It's satirical. Everybody laughed. It's a joke. It's not something that's really an amazing feat. So when I see all these people hyping up a car that immediately got caught by the cop, I can't, I can't really get on board with that because a 300 horsepower Honda for a K series isn't hard to achieve. <laughs> And uh, it's a basic thing to do. So that's why, you know, I get all shit about that. Like, so it's like uh, pick your heroes. Pick your heroes better. Like, if you're going to get behind somebody to hype somebody up and you want to show somebody an example of Honda that's fast, go to Humble Performance. You know, go to Four Piston Racing, G Marsh, those guys. Don't, you know, some random ass kid, some nobody that got caught by a cop when he was trying to run, fail. You know, that's, 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 that's not your hero. <laughs> that's not your example to show by because all the people who do legit hate Hondas are going to point to that and laugh at that and make fun of it. And rightly so, because it, it was, it's a poor example. There are plenty of other examples out there you can show of a legit fast Honda. That's not a good one. So uh, that's it. That's all it was, you know, just a little touch up on that. And the reason why, because, you know, it's, 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 uh, again, this little response to my own video is probably not going to be seen by the people hating. I don't know why all of a sudden it's it's like taking a huge surge in relevance. I don't really check my analytics a lot, but if I start getting hits on a particular video, especially if it's old like that, then I start checking analytics. And for whatever reason, it's jumped over a thousand views very recently and it's very quickly overcame. It's, it's topped my most watched videos. <laughs> This month, and I'm like, and I have like one, I have a couple, I have a handful of videos that generally always are there in my top spot for my 28 day analytics. And this one has overtaken all of them and has gone to the top. So now this fucking stupid ass video I made just talking shit is at the top of my fucking uh, analytics and the, and the viewership is picking up and the comments are picking up. So I figured I'd just throw this out there as a follow up, see what happens. But, uh, yeah, there are a lot of fast K-Series guys out there. There are a lot of fast NA K-Series out there, you know, and I know that there are people in the high 300s that are around the 400 course that are close to 400, 380 plus that are out there in competition racing and making very fast passes uh, that are making, you know, like 10 second passes. And I think maybe even in the nines, I think La Linta from, uh, from Humble is like a, th is a high 300 horsepower car and it holds the M1 record, I do believe. So, um, as of October of 2020. So uh, there's that. Um, uh, also, as another example, there's Kenny's uh, in a K20. He makes around like 240 wheel horsepower. He went to the track recently. He did like a 13.9. But there's all kinds of things to go into considering what makes that car fast, you know, because that definitely shouldn't be a 13 second car with that because we've seen, or if you've paid attention, you've seen the 220 wheel horsepower Hondas have run high 12s. So it really just comes into suspension motor mounts um wheels tire psi driver a lot of things go into it so i guess uh, i will finish up with one thing with saying that as far as the guy running from the cops i do i did get a little understanding better why he did it um for my belief he's in the new york area and up there if you get caught they crush your car um and on top of that too he had no plate on so I think he was in a situation where it was it was in his best interest to go ahead and chance it running if he wanted to keep the car. But uh, personally, I don't know. I, I think I would just you know just take the L, let him take the car. If the, there everybody everybody was claiming that the car was cut up, if the guy had no license plate on there, and you know, and there's a good chance that it was a cut up car, so the shell's worth nothing, you know. Um, and then the the K series itself. Chances are, if he's if he's sub 300, or even if he's right around the 300 wheel horsepower mark, uh, the chances are it's not that built. It's not super built. So I would have just just take the L. Like you were stupid enough to take the fucking car out there. Why rack up the charges? Because now you're you know reckless endangerment, uh, evading a police officer, all that shit. Uh, the the cost of of what he's gonna get charged with is night in jail and all that shit is gonna be way more than what the car's worth. So pick your battles. If you're gonna run from a cop, pick your battles. You gotta assess assess the situation very quickly you know if you really are a good driver like and you're a good under stress driving that means you're capable of making decisions very very quickly because the course correction between from one second to the next can literally cause you from you know avoid smashing into somebody's ass or hitting a wall all kinds of different things so 
I talked about in the first video, like what the circumstances you want to consider if you're going to run from a cop. You just got to make those quick decisions very quickly. Um, yeah, uh, running. I mean, it just was a, it was a bad move. So, um, yeah, if you're up north, don't run on the streets. Uh, don't run around the fucking streets up there with uh, no plates and stuff or whatnot, because you're guaranteed going to lose your fucking car if you get snatched up. And unless you're running some super fast car, you're definitely gonna get, you're definitely gonna get caught. And uh, I guess if you're if you're if you have any kind of fucking common sense and you're running a really fast car for real, just keep it on the fucking track. Now I'm not saying that I have not done pulls in the road. You know, like if I'm on the road and I'm and I'm you know somebody's fucking with me or whatnot, I'll do a third and fourth gear pull. You know, one or two minute stretch. But to deliberately go out to a place that people are racing to line up for races in public is just a fucking stupid thing to do for a million different reasons so um i'm advocating against street racing <laughs> like again I, I can't i'm a little bit hypocritical because i will fucking pull on somebody if you're fucking with me on the highway like if you're fucking around with me on the highway me going up to 130 miles an hour and, and dipping through traffic with you isn't something that's uncommon you know for me i'll say that but i would never take a fucking car i would never build a car and then go out to a fucking a street hangout with the intentions of racing. Now, whatever, if you're going to a hangout, a meet for just to hang out with people, look at cars or whatever, just to have your car seen and whatnot, I'm all for that. But to link up with somebody, to go out on the road to race, no excuse for that. I don't care. I don't care where the fuck you live at. If you, no matter where you live at, if you, if you spend enough time to build your car because you want to compete with that car, then take it to a fucking racetrack. Don't, don't fucking put some shitbox car together just to go run around the street and cause problems. People die all the time. It happens. All right, guys, so just be safe, <laughs> be careful, make good choices. Peace. Thanks for watching.